Hi, I'm Fabian with Sunbelt Transmission, so thanks for stopping by today. We produce all these videos for you guys to teach as much as we can about transmissions, so if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, push the button below, and here's your video. Thanks for stopping by today. So let's go ahead and disassemble it. Oh, and there they went. Okay, well, that happens. Let's just take a look at them. Okay, let me give me this piece right now. All right, so this is the other one half of the variator. Uh, we're looking at it, it looks pretty good. I don't see no scars here. And as far as this part, what we're looking for is the inside right here where the piston rides. We wanna make sure that it's not scarred, to make sure that it's in good shape and that we could uh, use it again. If you were to have one of these all scratched up, you could maybe use some scotch Sprite and then sand it down, but if it's bad, you need to replace it. Also, you could see the grooves here, okay? That's where the ball bearings rode. All right, good? Okay, and then we have a snap ring here. Let's go ahead and remove it. Oh, that's why you wear safety glasses, right there. Okay, so it's a snap ring right there. That's the piece of Okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. You can just hear it rubbing against. Let's look at the shafts here. This one, too, has got a little bit of scarring. You can see that right there. We we'll probably try to just run a buff wheel over it, sand it down a little bit. You're trying to avoid as much as you can. Take a look at your shaft, too. This is really important. This is where the ball bearings ride, okay? You want to make sure that this isn't wallowed out or this, is, or this part here is worn by the bearings. See, the bearings ride up and down in that groove right there. And that allows the variator to move back and forth. What happens a lot of the time is these ball bearings start to square out. And then when the, when the variator moves up and down and back and forth, opening and closing, it jumps because it's got a flat spot on the bearing. So this is really important. In the kit, you'll get new bearings. Please replace the bearings when you get them. The shaft looks good. This part's good. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Now we're going to go ahead and disassemble the secondary. Now this one also is regular thread, so counterclockwise to remove it. Now there's no spring in here, so it's not as dangerous as the one as the primary. See, it's there's no there's no uh, spring there, so that you don't you don't have to worry about the 400 pound spring. Okay. Yeah, so it goes off counterclockwise. Back to our pull.
we're looking at that bearing we took off. It's not bad, okay? We just have to do clean it, do a, a good inspection and clean it, make sure it's good. Here's this bracket again. Remember now what position you take it off, okay? You wanna make sure you put it on right. You can either mark yourself or make a mental note and scribe it. That way you know that's the way you've gotta go on. Now we're back to the posi lock again. Okay. And this job's a little difficult to do one man, but Renee does it all the time by himself, so he doesn't have me always hopping. Okay. Okay, came right up. Take it off, it's a little slippery. There we go. All right, so on this one here, this is another piston. Same thing, we're gonna look and make sure the ring's in good shape. Make sure that it's where it meets, at it's sealing, right here. Make sure they meet together at that point. Also, this ring came right off. Let's make sure it's not worn out inside here as well. It's not touching here and wearing itself out. And we gotta make sure that the lips are in good shape and they're not bent or damaged. Okay, this one looks okay. We get a new ring in there, all right. And on this part here, uh, similar, you can see where the, that piston rides. You want it to be that it's not scarred or it's not scratched up in any way, shape, or form. It actually looks really good. Okay, so we would go ahead and do that. I'll use that one again. Here we're gonna have the same issue with our ball bearings. There they are. So, again, let's take a look at this half of the very, oh, let's look at this one. See, so he's got this off already, so we're, we're looking pretty good here. Also, you wanna make sure that this part isn't wallowed out in here where the bearings run, okay? Because they'll tend to wallow this part out, okay? And it meets right here. Also, you want to check here to make sure they're not wallowed out in those directions. Right here, uh, it looks pretty good, the guide. I don't see no problem with it. Let's take a look at this uh, half. It's got some scarring, uh, just a little bit. Okay, this should also be cleaned up, so we don't see any problem with that. This half also has a little bit of, a little deeper scarring. You know, we would probably, probably get a, uh, sanding disc on it and see how much we could take it down. We're trying to make it as smooth as possible. Issues like that will make the, the, make the belt jump. Okay, this, this belt's been jumping a little bit. Let's take a look at our ball bearings one more time. Sixth bearing and the second one there. Okay, hang on. And then we have the ball bearings. They look pretty good. What you're looking for is they're not rounded out. I mean, uh, squared out. They look normal. I didn't see any problem there. If they were bad, it would have damaged this piece right here. Okay, Renee, what were you saying? Secondary okay. bear? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty much it. I mean, it was an easy to somebody, okay, check that bearing, and then we also have here for our speed sensor, that's where it reads the speed sensor off this wheel, okay? okay. So, all in all, we clean it up, do a good inspection to see it, at the see the, um, what condition it's in once it's clean, and go ahead and put a kit. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you, Renee. Welcome. Hi, this is Fabian again. I hope you liked our video, and please, don't forget to subscribe because the more you subscribe, the more videos I'll make. Thank you again. Have a great day.